Hey, what is up, guys? It is Bucky, and welcome to your fourth, I think, uh, intermediate Java tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be going over collections. And if you are a fan of my channel and you've been keeping up, then you notice that yes, I finally did get my screen recorder back, so I'm ready to begin making computer tutorials finally again after like a month. So, anyways, like I said, in this tutorial, we're going to be going over collections. And what a collection is is the best I can explain it to you guys is it's a lot like an array in that it holds stuff and the actual definition is it holds references to other objects but anyways like an array it holds stuff but unlike an array it's dynamic in an array you have to give it or usually give it a number of how many items you want to hold a list or a set in these are types of collections um, you it's dynamic you don't have to give it a number it can just change by itself so that's the cool thing about a collection. Um, again, like I said, there are different types of collection. There isn't just one main collection. Um, there's a set, for instance, and what a set does is it's like a list, but it can't contain duplicates. Um, a list obviously can contain duplicate items. And you know what? I just figured this out. It's probably going to be a lot easier just for me to demonstrate what this is. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, this program, we're going to be building an array of things. So I'm going to make. Um, just type in like four things, um, strings, eggs, um, lasers, let me just type in the first four things that pop into my head, hats, and let me look around, a pie, there's a pie sitting on my desk right now, believe it or not, and by the way, about eggs, what my girlfriend did for me for Valentine's Day, early Valentine's Day, I just bought a dozen eggs, and the next day I went to open them up, open up the uh, egg container, and there were, were 12 Cadbury eggs in there instead of regular eggs and uh, you know what I wasn't really disappointed about that but I couldn't make my omelet so anyways now moving on let's go ahead and put list and here is our creation of list what you need to do when you create a list is you need to tell it what type of data you're gonna pretty much be putting into a list and that's this is just so you can allow Java to process the data correctly so we're going to be putting string in, oh, by the way, use this little less than and greater than signs. Um, this is actually casting the data. But anyways, not important right now. You'll figure it out. Equals new array list. And if, and if you see stuff like new array list and stuff like that, I imported all that. It's in Java Util. So if you're saying, all right, where's this come from? And it's into the program. Don't forget to import it, obviously and go ahead and cast this again because you know it likes to do everything twice and put your parentheses so now you have an array of string and I forgot to name it things when I was thinking about my eggs and so now we have an array of things and also a list that's blank so what we want to do is make a little comment add array items to list and we'll do that with the enhanced for loop string uh, just name it X and we want to loop through the array things and what we want to do is let's name is list one for list one we want to add oh it already popped up for me X and what this is going to do is it's going to loop through this entire array again this is just an enhanced for loop nothing we didn't learn before and for each array item it's going to add that item which is X to the list so now our list has four strings in it eggs lasers hats and pie so let's go ahead and make another list real quick and let's go ahead and put string and we'll name this uh, array more things and what we're going to be doing is go ahead and set this equal to the two things or any two things inside here I'm going to set mine equal to lasers and hats and what we're going to be doing in this program is saying we're going to be running a check we're going to say alright if this list contains anything in this list then take it out I mean just a real simple example demonstrating the properties of list and the things you can do with it so let's go ahead and make another list just same as this one actually we can just go ahead and copy this because we're lazy and we go ahead and change it to list number two really string good so now that we got that taken care of um, let's see what we need to do we need to add array items to list just like this wow this is a little too easy I'm getting a little too lazy right here so paste 
string, change this up, don't want it in the same thing. So for string y, let me make sure I got it right, and you want to loop through more things. So what we're going to do this time is loop through this array, which is a short little array, lasers and hats, and for every item we come across, we're going to want to add it to list 2. Good thing I explained that or I would have forgot it. So now, just to make sure our lists are right, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and print them all out and then I'll uh, probably end the tutorial. So here's how you print out, wow, that's embarrassing. For int i equals 0 and then just put like i is less than list 1 dot size and yes the list have properties just like arrays and then just go ahead and put i plus plus so now what we're doing is looping through the entire list one manually right here system out print f so print format the format is going to be percent string with a space and that string is going to be let's see do we want to loop through one or two let's do list one get i so now let me go ahead and make sure this works and then I will demonstrate it. So list one is populated with eggs, lasers, hats, and pie. And list two, list two, make sure that this is, um, there you go, lasers and hats. So what we did right here is we said, all right, take the size of whatever list and loop through it, just a basic for loop and for each item you need to get the item that it's currently at according to the index and by the way that's how you reference item unlike arrays you just put get i and then just print it out so in the next tutorial what we're going to be doing is building a function to take what's in list number two which is lasers and hats and delete it from list number one which is eggs lasers hats and pie and I'm going to go probably eat another Cadbury egg. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next tutorial.